Guns, knives, speed, weed, bald ass lies, fast cars, dice, junk, mad sex, porn, and drunken orgies will never make anyone an honest outlaw. However, any or all might bring on a sad liver, a failed kidney, an exploding ticker, rusty veins, no credit, a flipped wig, a bitter ex, and or a same-sex love affair with the law. Most of what is sacred in our bastard world of poetry and small press is not, and never was, cool. A cultural malignancy and artistic anomaly of puking conformity. There are giddy exceptions, though, generally predicated upon single expression or vision and nothing else. What makes cool is the same thing that might make hip. It just is. Like Levy of Cleveland, simply who and what they are, outside the margins and maverick by necessity, whose only victory might be to declare what would be their genius. All those that follow with their nostrils flaring up their false gods' fetid asses in search of lost cities are foolish fashion mongers pressing themselves into unforgiving cliches. I cannot remember where H.S.T. or Bukowski ever wrote or said, this is the way. Mostly what they said, if anything, was straight ahead. This is my way. Like Anais inside the top down of her soft parade. The mystery and magic of the grape will not make you a writer. Posing in black ether with your hands jammed into your pockets, leaning against bearded time will not make you a poet. Like most everything else in this changing city, I am a sincere liar, guilty of some small crimes of fashion. This is one of them. A low rider on the apocalypse, haunted by long-haired dreams of being born again as a rock star. Honestly, I don't know what makes a poet, but they are among us. A little outlaw dancing in every one.